Every drop of sweat brings you closer to your goals. Good afternoon to everyone gathered for this activity on this fifth day of program. I welcome you all. I summon Ms. Monisha, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, to deliver the welcome address. Good afternoon, everyone. It's my honor and privilege to welcome you all. to this faculty development program on science and technology development academic growth on behalf of ksr college of arts and science for women trichangode i extend a warm welcome to all dignitaries resource persons and faculty members who have joined as for this faculty development program with the blessings of our beloved founder late line dr ks rangasamy mjf a very warm welcome to our chairman mr s srinivasan in absentia I would like to welcome our young energetic vice chairman, Mr. Sachin Srinivasan, in absence. A cordial and heart built welcome to our principal, Dr. Yam Kartikeyan, KSR College of Arts and Science, Tamilman, Tirchamudu, who has been the backbone of this event in absence. We are deeply honored to have with us today's chief guest, Dr. J. Ravi Amit University, Bangalore. Their achievements and dedication to their work serve as inspirations to us. It's my glad to welcome you all, the participants, for the fifth day of faculty development program. Once again, I welcome you all. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Manisha. Next, I call upon Ms. Manisha Kashyap, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, to deliver the address of our chief guest. Good afternoon. It's my honor and to introduce our esteemed chief guest for today's FDP, Dr. J. Ravi, a distinguished academician and seasoned researcher in the field of statistics and applied mathematics. Dr. Ravi currently serves as a professor of statistics at the School of Mathematics, Amity University, Bangalore. With an academic journey spanning over 17 years, he holds an impressive array of qualifications. including an msc mphil and phd in statistics complemented by ongoing pursuits of mba in human resources dr ravi has over two decades of academic and research experience having served in prominent institution like reva university mm -hmm. and the vivekananda college for women who has held a leadership position including head of the department His areas of expertise span business analytics, data science, biostatistics, and operation research. A profile contributor to the academic world, Dr. Ravi has published extensively in reputed journals and authored key textbooks, including Partial Differential Equation and Rebus Statistics. He has been a member of numerous editorial boards and a reviewer for international journals, underscoring. His influence and the contribution to the global scholarship. Dr. Ravi has also served as a resource person for the various national and international conferences, delivering lectures on the topics like regression analysis, operation research, and the role of mathematics in modern technology. With a strong commitment to education, he has guided over 140 postgraduate students and currently mentors PhD scholars. Today we are honored to have Dr. J. Ravi share his insights and expertise with us as we embark on this faculty development program. Let us warmly welcome him to inspire and enrich with his wisdom and knowledge. The session is yours, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, madam. I think uh, I hope it is my voice is audible. Yes, sir. It's audible. Yeah. Thank you. So once again, thank you for the management of KSR College. <clears throat> so today we are. Uh, this session is going to discuss about the science and technology development in the research. Sir, sir, voice is not audible. 
No, no, one minute. I'm just, I'm going to share my slides. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah, good afternoon and all present here. So this is Dr. Ravi, Professor of Mathematics, Amit University, Bengaluru. So today we are going to discuss about the content is science and technology development in research. Actually, why I opted for this topic means we are uh, lacking for more concept. We are utilizing for the recent developed science and technology in research. So where we are going to lacking? So this content we are going to create uh, with the segregate with the five different type of sections for this session. The first session I'm going to give the introduction and technology innovations. So what is the interdisciplines we are going to use them and tools and the infrastructure and applications. And secondly, we are going to discuss about the advancement of in science and technology in mathematical and other related subjects. And the third one we are going to using for the artificial intelligence tools in research concept. The fourth one part is research gap. That means a lacking of research, where we are going to lacking of research. And the last one is how to write a paper, simple paper, with the, there we are going to utilizing for the new technology development concept. Uh, like we are going to using for how we are going to using for artificial intelligence and machine learning. So now we are going to start with the first one. So introduction actually, the phrase of science and technology development in research is broadly around advancement across various scientific disciplines derived by the innovations in technology and the research methodologies. Technological innovation means emerging technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning and quantum computing are transforming the way research is conducted. The high performance of computing and big data analysis are enabling the analysis of complex scientific problems. So these are the technical innovations. And the interdisciplinary research. So we are going to collaborating between the fields like biology, physics, mathematics, chemistry, and engineering is producing breakthroughs in the area of such as genomics, material science, and robotics, and etc. But the mathematical modeling and the simulations are becoming so indisciplinable tools in a diverse field like climate science and medicine, economics, and etc. Actually, is the interdisciplinary research means so without mathematics, we are going to do conclude for anything. So that is the reason we are going to touch with the interdisciplinary research. So most probably we are using for the different type of the tools and the infrastructures. So what are the tools and infrastructure we are going to use means advanced tools like the particle accelerators and telescopes and the electrons microscopes derived discovers in the fundamental sciences. So these are the we are using for the fundamental sciences. And if in the computer science related and uh, uh, information technology related and the remaining most of the people they are going to using for the cloud computing and open access database in global collaborations accessibility of research resources. So these are the tools and infrastructure only we are going to use for in the concept of in the research. And mainly what are the applications they are going to use for in the concept of in the research. Now a days the science and technology development impact industries such as the healthcare system, the precious medicines, energy that is a renewable technology and the transportation that is automotive vehicles. Recently, we have developed more e-vehicle related things. So everything is related to the concept of and the research only. So breakthroughs in the mathematical sciences contribute to the, the cryptocurrency and asset in the cryptography, optimization and the financial modeling. So this is the uh, first point. The second one is advancement uh, in science and technology in mathematical sciences. So mathematical sciences means where we are going to using the mathematics. So it is applicable for everyone because I'm giving the common 
title for the concept of this one. The advancement in science and technology has significantly impacted for the mathematical sciences, enhancing the field able to complex problem. So that is the reason we are using for the mathematics. Even it is a physics, chemistry. So whatever may be the subjects, if you are going to use in even it's a computer science and IT sector. So if you are going to make the research means definitely they want to uh, know about some little bit knowledge about the mathematics. So otherwise it is too difficult. We are going to solve the complex type of problem. And what are the problems you are going to for the complex problem means the first one is uh, uh, what type of problem is required? How are we going to solve this problem? So what type of uh, tool we are going to use them? What type of software we are going to utilize them? So this kind of things we are going to solve for in the concept of in mathematical modeling. And the first one is computational mathematics. So what are the computational mathematics? There are two things, main things for in computational mathematics. First one is the high performance computing. Second one is the machine learning algorithm. So high performance computing is nothing but the salvage large scale mathematical models that is in physics, climate study and the fluid dynamics. Also the simulation of black holes, weather system. So these are the examples of high performance computing. And the machine learning algorithm, where we are going to use for machine learning algorithm means it's optimization and a linear algebra in deep learning. Computational techniques for training for artificial intelligent model and handling the big data analysis. So these are the main two things for computational mathematics. And the second category is data science and big data analytics. So these are classified into the three types, the mathematical modeling, data science, algorithm development, Third one is applications in machine learning. Statistical techniques, the probability theory, optimization techniques, and the predictive modeling. This is including for the concept is mathematical modeling in data science. And algorithm development is advanced in algorithms for large scale data analysis, such as graph based methods and dimensionality reduction. So, example is a PCA. So, this kind of things we are using for the algorithm development. And applications in machine learning. So, you know, the recently developed for the applications in machine learning is the Bayesian estimator. That's a Bayesian method. Now, second one is the stochastic processing and the numerical optimizations. These are the very important role play for in artificial intelligence. So, these are also the development of in science and technology. These are the second concept. Third one is how they are going to recently development for science and technology development in the quantum mathematics. So the quantum mathematics, the development of quantum mathematics like the source algorithm. The recently it is the factorization, the integers. And the second one is the Grover's algorithm. It is searching for the optimization. We are going to identify the optimum solution also. So these are the two algorithms recently is developed for the concept of the science and technology. So where they are going to apply for this two different type of algorithm means, you know, the cryptography and solving differential equation and the simulation and quantum system. We have plenty number of methods they are going to solving for cryptography. But the uh, easiest way and the user friendly concept algorithm they are giving for the shores and the Cohen's algorithm. So that is the reason newly is uh, developed for this concept in quantum mathematics. You know the cryptography and the cyber security. So mathematical uh, foundations of cryptography you know, we think for the another one is the blockchain technology. So already you heard about this kind of words is the cryptography and the blockchain technology. So it is also we are using for the recently developed the concept of and science and technology in the research. In the specific area means it's a lattice based cryptography for post quantum security. So this is the recently is developed for this concept. And the fifth one is the mathematical modeling in simulation. Usually, uh, most probably they are using for the engineering side. Simulation means what are the concepts we are going to apply. It means the understanding the phenomenon like the spread of uh, disease. So this kind of things we are going to using for the logistic supply chain and the transportation. So here I have to mention a few of them only, but it is not limited to for the constraints. And the simulation tool, so a lot of simulation tools they are going to using for different different type of the people. The, uh, for example, if they are going to use the finite element method, these are the recent things. Computational fluid dynamics, uh, CDF, 
and agent based modeling in case of the some of the people that are using for the sem model also if for the in some management and uh, commerce people also are using for this kind of things sem model is, is already it is already developed and now it's becoming for outdated so recently they are going to develop for the simultaneous simulation tool is only for the finite element method and the computational fluid dynamics method also it is recently developed tool and the next one is the artificial intelligence and machine learning do you know all about these two things in everywhere so artificial intelligence and machine learning so how they are going to using for this artificial and machine learning the main concept is the neural network theory then artificial intelligence is a grant and discount and converse optimization of model training and it is also used to used to for in everywhere for artificial the the science and technology development usually we are using for the concept of science and technology means immediately the people are saying guess the first thing is artificial intelligence and machine learning because more scope is available for these two kind of things artificial intelligence and machine learning only and you know what we are using for the topological and the geometry so topology and geometry also these are the concept they are going to improve development concept in the research because we are using for the more topological concept is there in the year of 2000 we are using only for topology now recent year days if you are going to search in google the topology means they are going to give different type of topological concept is introduced and developed fuzzy topological is there so this kind of many thing is already is now is developing and already some concept is already is developed and geometry also the same things followed by the topology and the numerical analysis so it is previously the most people are using for the numerical analysis but now recent days they are using for in numerical analysis in different different type of experts so there is a more development in research the numerical analysis they are playing a vital role if you are going to check with the some of the theses the most of the people in the mathematics they preferred for the numerical analysis because they are going to solve the problems in very easy thing then only they are going to get it's very easy or big that is the reason the peoples are more development it is available in the concept of numerical analysis the next one is the collaborative tools and the open source development so what are the tools and the open source development we are using so tools like matlab Uh, for example if you are going to use for matlab means the student trial version is free available it is only for 30 days of trial version even if you are going to use for matlab in trial version means you are not going to choose for simulation maximum of tools only few tools only they are going to give the access if you are going to buy the matlab software then only you are going to utilize for all kind of the tools you are going to use them and the wall for mathematia python so you know these are the supportive advancement of computing for the mathematical software i just listed a few of them only in mathematical software means you know the mathematical software many thing is there here i am not mentioning for r program systat tora so the lot of mathematical software is available some software is available in google for free version some software you want to pay the money in python is also it is only the paying money but our software is a open source system if you want to download means easily you can download in the google programming r that is also another one of the mathematical software and the cloud computing so it is very very important from the cloud computing so access to large scale of computer computational resources for collaborative research if you want to store the large number of data set everything it is only the option is cloud computing is the correct way this is also day by day it's a developing so in the mathematical biological and uh, bioinformatics you know the uh, genetic and the epidemiology so if we are going to check with the dna and the sequence and everything is related to the, the analysis of the graph theory and epidemiology they are going to using for the concept of differential equation and stochastic modeling so how they are going to disease is to be spread and how you are going to make the strategy for control the disease so this is everything they are going to use for the mathematical concept so in the finance so most probably we are using for the concept of in the research is the finance in mathematics is a quantitative finance modeling and algorithm there's a machine learning only algorithm techniques only they're going to use for the 
concept of in you know, strategy even it's a share market trading so all kind of things legal concept only especially the calculus stochastics and the block skull models so monte carlo methods and the risk analysis so this kind of things is already is developed model is available so we are not going to use suppose then only we are going to develop for this concept uh, next one is the innovations in education and in the outreach so it is also common things for the uh, geo things and uh, we are going to how we are going to use for this kind of platform and how we are going to developing for this kind of uh, research we are going to use for this interactive the tools and uh, next uh, main concept is uh, the third part of in this session aa tools in research actually where we are going to lack for the concept of uh, we are using for the aa tools science and technology development actually we are uh, not using for 100% of this science and technology development in for our research we know the concept of this one so i don't know how many of them know for this kind of uh, aa tool is available so site first one is the lcit and the research rabbit scorer limited consciousness chat gpt and the c it is uh, not only for this one slide so it is uh, another slide also for the ai tool in research so this much of plenty number of research ai tool is available even it is not the gemini uh, this slide is the first row third one you can see that is gemini recently it is uh, launched by the google if you are going to check in our uh, mobile phone the google account is created means automatically they are going to uh, give for one concept is the gemini you just check with if you are going to update your mobile phone means that's a gemini one option is uh, available for in your android mobile phone because that is previously we are using this is called as google search only we are using this google search is now is this technology is developed they giving for the gemini even it is we are using to the whatsapp the whatsapp previously we are using normal whatsapp now we are using for the whatsapp with everything for linking to the only the concept of in beta so based on this beta version only we are going to use so in this slide we know the only the concept if you are going to search in ai tool means you are usually the people are actually chat gpt is not in the uh, best ai tool is not in the best ai tool the world wide they making for list for best 10 ai tool means that in that that within the 10 chat gpt is not available but in india most people are using for the chat gpt only because the chat gpt the user friendly software that is the reason the people are uh, using for in uh, chat gpt so the world wide the best first best or uh, ai tool means the julius already i tell them for this concept here it is mentioning for the many thing is for this one the first one is the julius so actually what is happening for ai tool for uh, julius means julius is an ai tool tailor made by modern academic research it distinguishes itself by offering personalized assistant in statistical analysis and uh, literature review making it an the invaluable asset for the student and researchers like with the julius user can analyze the data set visualization data trends and receive guidance and structuring their research fundings it advanced data processing capabilities new and practiced research so the main concept yeah this is the main motto of the artificial ai tool for in julius and uh, second so now i am going to discuss about the worldwide they giving the preference for the first one this is the second one paper guide even i don't know many of them is not heard about this kind of the ai tool paper guide paper guide is a popular ai platform for collecting understanding and uh, producing the research paper save time manually searching through the academic paper resources with uh, the ai search future and uh, synthesis collected the literature with the ai research assistant actually this is julius 
if you are going to compare with our spss software the julius output they giving the best output and the paper guide is giving for the best popular ai platform the collecting and understanding producing the research paper so this is also the second ai platform for the in research so i told on that these are the concept of ai tools so just after complete the, this session i am going to lively how the last section i am going to give in the how to write a paper how we are going to create your own paper content everything i am going to give the live demo these are the ai tools so next is the biggest problem is lacking of research so where we are going to get the lacking how we are going to utilize the science and technology development in research since in this 2024 is the data they giving the details is only 15 percentage only we are using for the science and technology development in research so what about the remaining 85 percentage we are not using for this type of 85 percentage why because of we are not having awareness of this what are the ai tool is there how we are going to utilize so this is the biggest problem so how we are going to identify it then only we are going to make for that paper in simple paper then only we are going to looking to we are going to develop for the science and technology so where we are going to lacking the research the first one is the insufficient data collection so this is one of the biggest problem for each and every researcher so data is not sufficient how they are going to make for the sufficient so where we are going to collect that data when we are going to collect that data how we are going to finish it so insufficient data means you are not going to complete your entire process second one is the lack of the comprehensive review that is outdated data sources only even if you want to find out how many people are studying in uh, a particular course means if you want to get immediate details means we will get data in proper place only if you are going to collect this type of data in employment exchange and some other places means that data is already is outdated so we want to research means only we want to collect the data for the present year otherwise the last year the 10 years before data if you are going to analyze means there is no use because we want to understand the reality you just imagine 15 years before so what is the gold rate now what is the gold rate so see the deviation 15 years before year by year the gold rate will be the increase gradually sometimes they are going to give for it little bit more but in the 2005 uh, 10 15 20 24 you just take for 5 5 years of interval you just compare with the year year of 2015 to 24 is not gradually it will be the increase dramatically is increase for the price because of their data that data if you are going to consider me that is outdated data and uh, third one is methodological issues so the problem is you have the data you have to plan for it uh, any other analysis if you are going to suppose you are going to use them the problem is you have data based on this data which statistical analysis you are going to use so before that you want to know what are the statistical analysis tool is available so that means before that we want to plan accordingly which software you are going to suppose you are going to use even python for example if you are going to apply any other you know the heard about the statistical analysis t chi squared f whatever may be the majors definitely you are going to your research something means you are going to apply for t chi square f because these are three things only for the universal statistical analysis so if you are going to suppose you are going to use for uh, python you want to write the coding it is also going to give the output of t chi square f even if you are going to use for spss software r software the lot of software is there but the most probably the people's research scholars they are using for the spss software only why they are using for spss software means that is very very user friendly software if you want to know only for how to import the data if you know this one spss is so easy but the, you are not understanding the other side of the problem so we want to get the output okay if you are going to import the data for in spss finally you are going to get the output okay 
then your output is correct or not how we are going to identify there is no way because spss only they created like this only if you are going to put to input the any other excel sheet automatically they are going to give for output because automatically let us assume that all the data they are going to consider then only they are going to give the output but if you are going to using for r software and python means it is too difficult your data is wrong improper data it cannot be taking for this kind of software the r software python this kind of software cannot be taken but spss is a no problem if you are going to import the excel sheet automatically they are going to consider for all data is data they are going to put for the output but the most of the people using for the spss only actually spss is not the uh, new software it is outdated software if you are going to use for the new software that is a developed technology means what software we are going to use means python r software these are the new latest developed software if you are going to utilize this kind of software means your output will be get 99% is to be perfect and uh, fourth one is the more data analysis so i told early data analysis a yes, same data set if you are going to take you can apply for spss same data set you can give for the r software and python so if python is rejected means r software also is rejected but uh, spss is won't be rejected something they are going to give for output but that output is not a, at least 80 or 90% is not correct because once the r software python is rejected means so the data is not in the proper format or data is in the incomplete data otherwise you are going to test with the different type of details for example in a statistical analysis you know small sample test means you are going to apply for t test large sample means you can apply for t and chi squared in different angle anova is different angle but spss if you are going to give the data but data is small sample data if you are going to asking about anova and chi square means spss so they are going to give the output but small sample data how they are going to analyze for in uh, chi square actually that is wrong but anyway the spss is giving the output anyway we are going to get output means blindly we are going thinking about yeah this is correct answer so we are not utilizing the uh, recent development technologies that's only the biggest problem so next one is limited scope the limited scope means we are not thinking about the broad scope only one or two scope only we have to thinking about based on this only we are going to work in the research that is the biggest issue for the concept of lacking of research next one is the lack of clear hypothesis objectives actually uh, reviewed some of the paper they are not clearly giving for this hypothesis and objective also because nearly 140 uh, journals i am the reviewer the problem is if i am going to review the papers they are not clearly mentioning for the what are the objectives of the paper so these are the basic things uh, when we are going to start with the writing the paper before that you want to clear some ideas actually what is the scope of this paper what is the objectives what uh, how we are going to data collecting how we are going to interpret which is uh, software we are going to use either you are using for a tool or you are going to use download some software you are going to use them so this kind of basic idea is essential for you are going to write before writing the paper and the next one is the insufficient funding and resources yeah obviously i agree with them no one is going to give for the funding so if you want to make the research means it's a own interest and own money and the resources uh, that is also i agree with them if you are working in the private institution we are not having sufficient time so we want to make some times at least if you are want to the become a good researcher means at least you can spend to half an hour time for in research at least weekly if you are not possible for every day at least weekly three times you can spend for half an hour half an hour time for in the research uh poor peer review process yeah after written your paper you just looking to the your paper what is abstract what you are going to give on the introduction whether it is necessary or uh, not necessary even if you are going to check in scopus and sei paper they are clearly mentioning at the time of uh, author instruction they given unwanted things please don't include in your paper 
actually the people are thinking about your thesis sorry your publication paper sca means you want a minimum of 20 page 25 pages actually that concept is wrong you just check with the sca reputed journals maximum of 5 pages also they publish in the paper the concept is very important not for the pages and the next one is the ethical practical constraints yeah that is i agree with them so ethically we want to and practically we want to justify given for that paper and the next one is failure to adapt so if you are not going to get the proper answer means again we want to try in a different type of angle so we are getting failure is the reason is once if you are going to apply any other st- ai tool or software means that's it you are going to move to the other concept why once failure means you can just check with the place where is the problem so how we are going to rectify that problem after that you are going to get your output is perfect means you are the masters of your particular concept and uh, last one is i told you no improper utilization of technologies that is really i am worried about in all the students even if i am going to take the classes in the research i am telling about all the provisions is available but we are not going to use them because of you are not know about the concept which type of uh, technology is developed which te- type of technology how we are going to use them this is a very biggest problem for in this concept so not only for this one so the numbers is more the lacking of the research even the first thing is we want the interest of the particular concept so even the most of the people so i'm uh, at the time of uh, met i'm um, conference i have attended so i asked them what is your area of interest the people are saying about uh, sir i'm my area of interest is still i did not identify so that is i get shocked this kind of answer because they are doing phd is the year of last year third year completed fourth year they started that the time i get surprised now you are going to the this is the last year or next year fifth year is the last year so area of research means it is one nothing but it is area of interest which area you are familiar even no one is <coughs> familiar for the all the areas okay ai well written paper research paper so now i am going to make some uh, demo for this concept of uh, how we are going to using for the chat gpt I think now screen is visible, right? Sir. <coughs> so it's nothing but it is simple thing. If you have the mail. I can ask about what, uh, what AA tool if you are going to use means the people are on, uh, in the out of 10. nine people are suggesting only for the chat gpt because it is very user friendly so how we are going to write your research paper in your research concept so first of all you want to understand for example in i am belongs to mathematics means first i have to plan that how i am going to make the paper so before that i want to get some content what are the how what are the papers i am going to refer otherwise uh, for example is a fussy first i am going to asking about in the fussy graph actually i don't know about the meaning of fuzzy graph for example let us assume that even if you are going to type in wrong they will uh, they will adjust with the grammatical also you don't worry about it so if you want to know about the fuzzy graph in uh, chat gpt if you are going to enter you will get the concept of fuzzy graph actually what is the definition of fuzzy graph see it is giving the simple definition if you are going to search in, in google you are going to get plenty number of definition actually that is the reason you are going to get confused why this definition is giving this uh, this like this again second definition they are going to in different angle but in a chat gpt they are giving for the best definition if in the google is showing as 10 or 11 definition means here only they showing only one definition so easily you can understand what is the concept of fuzzy 
So see, next they are going to show that the key concept of Fuzzy graphs. So what is the graph? Vertices means what is meaning that edges. How we are going to uh, define? Next is under the relation. How we are going to this one application? So this is I'm not asking about this much of question, but I given only the one word is Fuzzy graph. So that related important concept they are going to give for this concept. In case if I'm going to use for the Fuzzy graph in neural network. In case, why we are not using for the neural network for fuzzy graph? The network is also related to the graph only. So how I am going to connect with the fuzzy graph and a neural network? So it is a, if you are, if you want to study and many other reference book. Otherwise, if you are not going to get any idea, means just you can type here. It is lacking of fuzzy graph. Simply, I'm just giving for the what is the lacking of fuzzy graph in networking. So they're going to give the reasons also. So what are the reasons they're going to give for the fuzzy lacking of fuzzy graph in network? So what is meaning that? So see the given the complexity and implementation. So reason, what is the impact? So lacking of standardization, reason, impact, <coughs> computational overhead, reason, impact. So limited awareness. So what is meaning this means? Where is the lacking of graph theory in network? So if you are going to after read this one, you have to get some ideas for networking system often favor domestic and well understood model. It is everything they're giving for reason and impact. So certain point you are going to get some idea. What type of idea? Okay, there are, this is the problem. If you are going to change this concept means we will get more answer that means a more uh, exact answer so this kind of things only you will get idea for you are going to write the papers and if you want to check with the different type of uh, fuzzy graph even you can check with the types of fuzzy graphs see so i want to know what are the types of fuzzy graph is there so it is giving intuitionist uh, fuzzy graph, interval valued fuzzy graph, bipolar fuzzy graph, see description and application, everything. It, this kind of answer, if you are going to search in, in Google, you are going to get n number of pages. So that n number of pages, how we are going to shortest, that's so difficult. So this situation you can utilize for this kind of AA tool. This is the development of technology. So we are not going to use for this kind of technology in the research. So see, not only for this one, they are giving the n number of uh, fuzzy graph is given. So you just you want to compare with this fuzzy graph, you will get another one of the review paper. So what is the difference between this one and this one? The first uh, you can the inducedness fuzzy graph and the interval value fuzzy graph. If you have this, some get ideas. And even after you are going to write paper, so before that you are going to write the paper means just you want to know about the ideas. Ideas means what you are going to do. So based on this you write the abstract. And then next you are going to write the introduction part. Next one is belongs to the preliminary. What are the concepts we are going to utilize for the our experiments, experimental study. So after that we are going to experimental study. Finally we are going to write the conclusion. Everything we are going to done. Next, we want to the another one uh, constraint we are going to face the concept is plagiarism. How we are going to reduce the plagiarism? In the year of uh, 2000 and 2005 until even 2008 10, that the time you are not having the sufficient uh, software and uh, AA tool is not available for we are going to reduce the plagiarism. How we are going to reduce the plagiarism means we are going to get the plagiarism report that after that report we are going to give the English one of the English faculty they are going to change the words he will take off one month of time even his thesis also like this only but recently technology is giving more benefit to the research in lot of plagiarism remover software is there like uh, for example if I am going to use for this one see usually uh, this is a Colbert, this is a one of the uh, 
software for we are going to use for plagiarizing tool if you are going to type here it is you can make the free face you are going to get in right hand side you will get the the same meaning but uh, the words is to be automatically they going to choose under giving for a different type of words so basis after this one you can copy and paste to your word file after that you can take for the your uh, plagiarism report definitely it is be reduced compared to the previous what you are taking for the plagiarism so these are the tools is available but we are not going to utilize for this kind of tool this is only the uh, free version free version means they are giving for 150 words only the option if you have the um, this type of version if you have premium version you are going to get premium version means you will get uh, for entire paper if you are going to upload they will uh, make the repraises word and you are going to get it back so not required for premium version at least you can copy and paste one para one para means within half an hour you are going to rephrase all entire words so it will reduce for the plagiarism the main concept of this research is my point of view the most of the people they are not utilizing the recent development tool in the research that is only the biggest problem even if the chat gpt you just as a graph it is also showing recently what is development is happened see so the recent development of fuzzy graph theory is focused explained in the integration with the machine learning so see using the machine learning and a dynamic and a complex system so recently developed a concept everything they are going to give for this one so i why i am here it is giving the demo is chat gpt means in all over india if you want to know the answer means immediately they are using for chat gpt so that is the reason i am giving here it is demo is chat gpt actually the best tool is julia is the best tool in our all the world because i showed the ppt that is a julia that is the best one another one is the second one is the paper guide so this are the ai tool is a very uh, um, advanced tool for in the ai tool so basis of this information only we are not going to use for in this science and technology is developed actually day by day we are using for this uh, technology we want to make the since science and technology we want to be developed in research the main thing is if you want to make a good researcher means you can utilize all kind of developed technology in research yeah thank you so do you have any queries or questions means uh, please let me know uh, please ask to me questionary session participants can give you questions queries feedback also hello yes ma'am you can proceed ma'am Uh, how to get pictorial representation for example in graph theory how can i get some chat gpt nothing ma'am just yeah 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 it is possible ma'am actually if you are going to type your question same thing uh, your question is actually what is your question for example in fuzzy graph i need a graph types of graph means i, uh, I show the graph also Uh, along with the definition, I mentioned the example in my research paper. So, what is the graph? No. Theory means it is a pictorial representation, sir. How can I? Yes, ma'am. Uh, no, uh, this type of pictorial. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> this kind of example, if you want to means, you can use for Julia software. Oh. Because that is the reason I am telling to the concept is. chat gpt giving for the information but you are not going to get any other example any pictureization nothing you are going to get for chat gpt it is everything is to be running metro only you are going to get 
in case if you are using for julia and the paper this kind of id means you will get example even if you want to get the reference actually previously we want to make some reference means in search in google each and every reference i want to collect them in chat gpt means if you are going to give references for uh, fuzzy graph means they are going to give uh, nearly it's a 10 to 20 different type of reference they are going to provide so based on this only we are going to collect that paper Am I, you get the point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Julia means we get a... Ah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah yes, that is yes. the reason. Because more possibilities is there. But we are not provide, utilizing for this kind of technologies. Because my research work will be research. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. My cons... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my research area also robust to fuzzy graph. Yeah, yes, ma'am. It's no problem. You can ask. How to review the paper, sir? How to review the paper means you are asking about uh, in the point of reviewer or uh, in the point of author? Reviewers. Reviewers. Okay. For example, if I am going to get a review my paper means they are not going to provide for your name, your affiliation. Just a title. After that, abstract remaining things they are going to give. First, we are going to check with the plagiarism. We are using most probably turn it in or otherwise authenticate only. We are off. most probably we are utilizing these two software only. So once if you are going to get uh, in the scopus means we are expecting below 15 or 10 uh, journal to journal it may be the varying. For example, a particular uh, journal is science direct is there. So the science director means definitely must be a below 8 percentage plagiarism is required. Initially, we are going to check them. It's a below 8 means then we are going to start with the review. Above 8 means immediately we are going to send for the mail to the uh, chief editorial board. Again, they are going to send to you for the mail. Your uh, paper is more than 8% um, of plagiarism. So this is against for our plagiarism policy. So kindly reduce your plagiarism. Then you can uh, re-upload it. This is only the information giving to chief editor to you. In case if uh, below 8 means, so I'm going to review means uh, they are giving a uh, minimum of 40 days of time. They are giving for prescribed time, 40 to 60 days in between only. We are going to submit my report. So how I am going to review means, first we are going to study the abstract. First of all, we want to understand the abstract. Then only we are going to followed by the, your experimental study only, we are going to look into them. Because the introduction and the review of literature, everything it is already available. That's only we are going to include for introduction and the review of literature. So in the experimental studies, we are going to looking to them and also we are going to work on it. So that is satisfied. We are giving for this acceptance uh, concept. In case if you are going to, even if you are, I'm not going to find out a particular portion, how you are going to get this answer means that is we are asking about one query. First query they are going to send for the chief editor to you. You are mentioning this result. How you got this result? This calculation kindly sent to editor. So this is only they're going to ask them. So this is only the review process. Man. So after revision, they're going to give the only four options. Accept without any changes. Accept minor changes. Accept major changes. Finally, rejection. This is four options only they're going to give. Hello, sir. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Uh, sir, is there any software available for improve the configuration of the picture, sir? Yeah, yes, ma'am. It's A tool is also many things is there. Uh, this regarding it's a four or five different type of uh, tool is there, ma'am, for the increasing the configuration. You just in search in the Google means they're going to give four and five different type of software is there. So that uh, 
that four things they're going to give the concept same thing just one minute ma'am okay sir என்ன <laughs> 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 Uh, the recently the two software we are using for the increase the configuration of the picture the one is pip software another one is the android open source uh, software this two software is that that android uh, open source software is working for stake overleaf so this two software recently we are using for the improve the uh, configuration of the picture it is available in uh, google if you want to means you can uh, type and you can utilize that one okay sir yeah so two questions are in chat box sir oh okay ma'am one minute i'll check that so the how to download a recent published article yeah uh, it is a recent published article means which area first we want to identify second one is what are the title of the paper and who is the publisher these two things you get it from any other ai tool for example chat gpt if you are going to search in a chat gpt references for fuzzy mathematics if you are going to type means is giving you nearly 10 to 20 30 recent publication they are going to give actually chat gpt is providing only for recent publication only you just copy and paste in word file so now you got the author name and uh, next one is the uh, publisher uh, details and the title of the paper next we want to download means you know science high one of the website is there i think the most of them is no for this science hub website is there that is actually this is not uh, official website this is pirated website only sci hub do you heard about the sci hub because many of the journals is reputed journal means like uh, springer elsewhere means we want to pay the money for downloading this kind of paper it is better you can utilize uh, this website just i'll show that one minute see now it is visible for this one sci hub actually this is uh, unauthorized website even if you are going to check with the science direct one paper the if you want to download that particular paper means uh, i show that that is also i show that so if you are going to check with the science direct any other papers means for example any one paper if you want to download popular article if you are going to like this this is a popular article if you want to see there is no option for giving for the download then how you are going to download means is nothing but if you want to download this kind of paper means you can copy here and uh, just you can use for here it is paste and you make them for the open so still is not published this paper no it is already freely is available then is that is a reason is not opening for this one so this paper is opening already it is freely available so if not available in the free if you want to pay the money means that's kind of paper is also is there Uh, for example if i am going to check with other paper see view pdf means it is uh, easily we can download it 
some paper is showing as uh, purchase they are going to mention for here it is so that kind of paper if you want to download means you can copy this for url code and here it is you can make for paste here it is you can make paste you can click for this open the paper will be display for this next page so here if you are going to make no so here it is displayed for that paper so easily you can download this paper this is only the option otherwise if you want to download this paper in proper way means in all university they are having for inplibnet for example in periyar university bharathiyar bharathidasan university having r and uh, research and development department they are having certain systems that system only having for access this kind of the journal downloading if you want to this kind of paper in proper way means we want to go to the university and you make it download otherwise we want to use this kind of unofficial website only we are going to use them this is the even uh, i downloaded nearly uh, four lakhs papers one day i am using for this kind of ac hub website only because many papers is download easily and uh, another what is another question they ask yes most probably i am using for the all the 2024 papers everything i am using for this kind of sci hub only actually sci hub means the two three different type of uh, website is there cloned uh, website is also is there you can prefer for the correct one if you are going to search in google sci hub means they giving different different type of uh, sci hub so you try which one is correct one means then you can uh, make for the note of it for in your folder you can make it here it is the folder then you can download this paper very easily otherwise if you want to any other uh, papers download means i just tell them to my mail id you just uh, giving to the details i'll just download and send it to you so i chat box i just send to my mail id so if you want to the any other papers means you just um, send mail uh, this mail i need author name title of the paper publisher this details is required if you are going to give this one i just download it and give to you again same mail i'll just revert to you anna university yeah definitely anna university also you can download your uh, books and uh, papers everything even uh, i download in coimbatore bharathi university near bharathi university anna university one more campus is there so i download a maximum of uh, books and uh, many papers in that campus only so if you want to download me this is only the option yeah i think i uh, given uh, more questions to answer do you have any questions means please you can ask them participants do you have any questions okay then all the participants are requested to turn on your camera for a while to take photo it's a photo session kindly turn on your cameras please
Thank you. I call upon Ms. Bhuvaneshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, to deliver her vote of thanks. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It's my privilege and honor to extend a vote of thanks on this memorable occasion. First and foremost, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to our special guest, respected Dr. J. Ravi sir. We are deeply grateful for the insightful presentation on science and technology developments in research. Your expertise has broadened our understanding of this cutting edge technology. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you, sir. A special thanks to our principal, vice principal, and directors of the academy in absence here. And I would like to thank our HODs and the faculty members for this grateful session. I would also like to extend my thanks to our organizing committee who have worked to make the session a grand success. Thank you, participants, for your cooperation on today's session. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Shall we wind up, sir? So, thank you, participants. You can wind up. Thank you, ma'am.